Professor Wale Olagunju, who is the founder and presiding bishop of the Divine Seed of God Chapel, have made some predictions about the survival of Nigeria as one entity. The prophet disclosed this in an interview with the press on Sunday. According to Prophet Wale, Nigeria is seen as one entity today in 2020, but its survival was not going to last long. He reminded Nigerians of his prediction in 2003 of how Nigeria would break up as a nation into five nations and the current administration of PMB will not be able to stop it. He added that PMB will be the very last ex-military president that will rule over one united entity called Nigeria. He stated that if care is not taken, there will be no election in Nigeria in 2023. On when it would happen, the prophet stated that Nigerians should wait for his 2021 prophecy to hear the details as revealed by him, as revealed to him by God. The outspoken prophet expressed sadness about the level of nepotism shown to a particular ethnic group and the neglect that is being suffered by many other groups in Nigeria. He didn't hide his opinion on whether Nigeria should break up or not. He revealed that it was better off for Nigeria to break up than to remain and be suffering. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, you know, just few individuals who are benefiting for the, from this whole system, they will not agree to this man. They will not agree at all. And again, it's not only the injustice being meted on particular ethnic group. The injustice is meted on Nigerian people, on Nigerian people, on the masses, not even particular ethnic group. Because if you say particular, a particular ethnic group, we know the people who have been clamoring for uh, a new nation, a, a new country, they are Biafrans. Then tell me, does it mean that say, we don't have those who are benefiting from, from the Southeast? We don't have uh, politicians who are benefiting from the Southeast. You go to the Southwest, we have politicians who are benefiting, but the masses are living in, in so, they are suffering. If we always talk about uh, the neglect, 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 tell me which, which section in this country, which region in this country you can say, oh, there are people who are living in plenty, or there's a, a, this a infrastructure development, or made more than the uh, infrastructure in place. Tell me where. Is it Lagos that you are talking about? Where? Where is the infrastructure? Where? Is it Abuja? Where is the, where is the infrastructure? We are talking about uh, the south, south, south. Where is the infrastructure? Even in the north, where is the infrastructure? We know what is even, what is even dealing with them as we speak. You talk of poverty. Even the ethnic group that are always being favored as far as a... Uh, presidency or as far as a leadership is concerned in this country go and check their people so the question is that so does it mean if few individuals from a, a particular ethnic group they are being given appointment so that will solve the problem of poverty now we are talking about uh, the cost of governance and they are not ready to do anything they are shifting the blame executive will say oh it is uh, the legislature that's supposed to do it the legislature will tell you that oh they don't have a power to do all sorts of so what are we talking about so it's not even a marginalization or neglect or injustice on on particular ethnic group it is injustice to the masses because across all the geopolitical zones we have the politicians we have their leaders there let them go and meet their people they'll be they'll be twisting story they'll be telling you hey, you know what you know this you know that because they are on the table eating and they are observing table banner they will not be able to say anything they are always all, all they are all fighting for their pockets so it is the injustice against the masses not even the a particular ethnic group because everybody is suffering together everybody is going through the suffering it might be more in some places and will be lesser in some area this statement that is coming from uh, this uh, prophet, this is what politicians don't want to hear. They don't just want to hear from you. They will tell you there, we are going to debate. You see, the vice, vice president is calling for debate on how to uh, minimize cost of governance. They want to go, go let, let, let us go back. And people are asking, what of your own reports? What have you done about it? They will just go and dust it. Okay, since they are talking about it, let us talk. Let us say something. What move are they, have they made? They will be shifting the blame to themselves. Oh, this responsibility is from the legislature. It's not from the executive. 
So, in my opinion, those people, they don't even want to hear it. They will continue to tell you, let us hold committee. Let us form a committee that will, that will change all this scenario. They will tell you, it's not as if they don't know. They know. They know very well. The ones who have served in the in the past and the ones who, is, who are still serving, the ones that are still serving now, and the ones that are, still, are yet to serve, who are on the waiting list to go into it. You talk about uh, the constitution that we have. They will tell you it is not possible to change it. It is this, it is this. Huh. So, if you talk about a breakup, they don't even, they wouldn't want to hear it. Anybody that talks about breakup uh, is the enemy of uh, those uh, politicians. The next thing, you are going to be hearing, oh, this man is being paid. Oh, he's from the opposition. Oh, they were enjoying before. Okay, they were enjoying the corruption that was going on before. Now that they have blocked everywhere. Oh, they are pained. They are this. They are that. That is the excuse you are going to be hearing. I I, I wish that uh, these northerners that are protesting, they will they will continue with this their protest because they said they are not going to be intimidated. These are the people that you are supposed to say, oh, yes, yeah, so the, the leadership is coming from their side. Then tell me, in what area are they enjoying? In what area are they are they comfortable with? Yes, they are the most affected in anything you can think of. They are the most affected in whatever capacity that you want to think of. They are the most affected. So what are we now talking about? So when you talk about uh, the injustice, it's not about injustice about uh, uh, politicians. It's injustice about the people. Because when the politicians see that uh, they don't get their appointment or the juicy appointment they anticipated, that's when they will not be uh, uh, selling out the narratives. Oh, this and this and that. Ah, uh, uh, they say whatever. Oh, no, oh, no, waiting. Oh, no, wash. This is never a prophecy, but reality of what will happen soon. Because Nigeria, as a ship, is heading to hit a rock. We are singing one Nigeria with our mouth and have divided Nigeria in our heart. Anybody that feeds us Nigeria, that feeds that Nigeria, will survive. Uh, if continue to if continue to remain one, that Nigeria will survive. If continue to remain one and have its or her to examine, okay, the person needs to be examined. Full of people open our eyes to see what Nigeria is all about. Solution to Nigerian problem is to return Nigeria to regional governments or divide this thing called Nigeria. Let people go. They are separate ways. <laughs> You talk about a restructuring. They don't even want to hear it. That is the problem. They don't want to hear it. They don't want to hear anything about restructuring. They just want it the way it is. And the way things are going badly. That is just the way they want it. They are not ready. Like I said, anybody that says one Nigeria, most especially those politicians, go and ask them, ah, whoa, the unity of Nigeria is this, is this, this. They are the one that will be singing that. I hope if Adam Mbaka can hear a true prophet speak, not APC prophecy every time, not arranged prophecy, on primates, Ayodele comment translated as prophecy. Prophets are courageous, bold and fearless. Prophets expose ease of society, expose causes and profile solutions. A prophet should be able to speak truth to power. This prophecy will surely stand the test of time. Watch out. Thank you, Prophet Wale Olagunju, for being bold enough to condemn injustice. Mbaka Okafo, Oyakilome, Ulukoya, Adeboye, Moka, and are unable to do this because they are afraid of power. Men of God, my fools. Hmm, that's what they say. Person is talking about here. It's just unfortunate. Who will save Nigeria? Who will help Nigerians? In as much we are saying that even some of some Nigerians are even complicating issues by not even having a, a better understanding of what is happening around them. Who is going to help Nigeria? Who is going to talk? Who is going to where is the liberty going to come from? It's a, a, a questions begging for answers. Who is going to do that? Who is going to do that? In a real sense, even if you are not talking about breakup, the structure is even the ideal thing. They don't want it. They don't just want it. They will just be bringing a lot of uh, a lot of excuses. They will tell you, oh, restructuring, that those who are even clamoring for restructuring, they don't even understand the meaning, that it means different things. That if you call this one, this one will tell you, it's a lie. 
Everybody say the same thing. They might say it in a different ways, but they, are, they see me the same thing. But the people who do not want the restructuring to take place, they will be telling you, giving you the excuse that say, people, uh, uh, different people, the meaning of a restructuring. Then you tell us what it means. What do you think restructuring uh, means? Then they will say, okay, whether you are right or not. So guys, let us hear your opinion according to what this prophet has said, that the best, best, that it's going to come in no time that it will be divided into five nations. Let's hear your own take concerning this. Thank you.